Okay, let's go. Evil. <laughs> it's been so long. Normal and easy, yeah. We're not a rookie. God damn. Now I have no idea where I am. <laughs> you once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. <laughs> Alright. First of all, fam familiarize myself with the controls once again. Square is nothing. But, if I were to put up my gun and press square... Uh, no wait, that would do nothing as well. It's square and X. Okay, circle goes to the menu. So let's equip that knife so I can re-familiarize myself. So X to stab. Unfortunately, Leon is very unskilled with the knife. That's fine, that's fine. No frames are skipping, good. Triangle to do something I don't even remember. Wait, does it show me? Yeah, it does, actually. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so cancel for triangle, run for square. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, wasn't it someone was telling me... Yeah. Isn't this the auto-aim? And then you use L to change the, uh, the enemy. I'm gonna actually try that. Um... I might make it a little easier, but I don't care. <laughs> might make it a little easier. Not that this game isn't ridiculously easy anyway. Alright, let's let's start, even though I'll probably keep this footage in. Actually, wait a minute. Uh we got the cogwheel. Okay, that's that okay, now I know where we're going. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mioix Fu. And I know it's been quite a while since, well, the last episode, but don't worry, I've got everything in hand. Now we get the Rook Plug, we get the Bishop Plug, and we get the King Plug. So we could probably go down back to the uh, Waste Management Facility with Ada Wong and fit those in, because I think that's all we need, right? Unless we need the queen plug as well, I'm not sure. But, we're not going to do that right right yet. Uh, let's equip this first of all, my, my, my new toy. <laughs> what a new toy it is. And we're headed back up to the second floor, I think. Yeah, we are, because we want to... We want to go back up to... Uh, what, what, what is it called? The, the clock tower in the station? Why a station has a clock tower, I'll never know, but... <laughs> yeah, 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 go up one more set. There we go. Come on, Leon, we're not done yet. Oh, Leon, where are you going? Ha, huh. you silly rookie police officer, you. All right, we should be, should be able to go through the library to get there, I think. Right? This leads... Yeah, this leads to the library. I'm just... Just wondering where we're going. Actually, wait a minute. We got... No, not option. Shoot. Now I'm pressing select for map. <laughs> Let me just... Alright, we got... Just checking the time as well. Find out when we're ending. Right, map. Alright, so we've unlocked... All that stuff. All that stuff. All that stuff. So, it looks like the only things we have left to do are replace the cog wheel in the clock tower and bring the plugs to Ada Wong so that she can open the door for us or something. I'm not I'm not sure. Uh ooh. Can I get a cup of joe? No. <laughs> I feel like I already tried that once. No, we can't go down that hallway. It's blocked off or something. Come on, go through. But I know we have at least one liquor on our way up, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping this auto aim. Someone mentioned it. I, I don't remember who. It was a while ago, and I, I I didn't think to actually use it. But I have turned it on. 
Which I should I should be able to show that. So hopefully it'll be like Resident Evil 1 where Leon will snap to the enemy that he's facing. You know, which was was kinda handy. But Leon doesn't seem to want to do that. Maybe because Chris is so much more experienced than he is. Ah. Hey, I'm not actually calling him Chris this time. That's a change. Alright, so we can't start you up yet. Because we need to replace that cog. Uh, where were the stairs? They're right over here, aren't they? Yeah, okay. I thought that was just a piece of the background. Get over there. See, I like, I like the uh, pre-rendered backgrounds and everything, but... They really do blend in just a bit too much. Alright, looks like a switch. Will you push it? No! Because I've got a cog to put in. Alright, so let's throw that cog right in there. Aw, oh, yeah. Sure, why not? I have no idea what this will do. Probably screw us over. Or it'll open that, that door. You know, I was expecting something else, like, you know bell would go off and all the zombies from miles around would be alerted to our presence. It's an old dust chute. Will you jump down? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think about this for a second. Because the last time I jumped down something like this was in Resident Evil 1 after we would fought Snakey for, what was it, the second time? That kind of ended up screwing me over. But I guess I'll jump down, because... What else am I going to do? And I mean, come on, this animation. We would have missed out on that. <laughs> come on, first-person animation going through a dust chute. Who wouldn't want that? No! Get, Get away! Oh, God. Bad. You're now a licker? I guess. Um. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. And you thought you were safe in there. Huh. Uh. No, I keep hitting. Uh. It's one thing after another. Now I keep hitting, uh. Select to try to go to the menu map, so where are we? I don't think I'm gonna go check out what happened to what is, whatever his name is, David or something. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. But, we have to go down this way to get to Ada Wong, so hurry! I have to get back to Ben. No, you don't! That guy's a jerk. You don't need to worry about him at all. Lock appears to be open. Fine, fine, fine. Go in there. We'll have to fight whatever this is. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have to reset. That's gonna be great. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co conspirator. Huh? Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest. It's burning. Well, sorry, I don't know CPR. Well, I mean, I do. I'm guessing Leon doesn't, though. Oh, God! That was pretty gruesome. Wow. Oh, hey, don't, you couldn't have what shot that? that thing. Good to see that you could have, uh, you know, gotten out of that, that place whenever you wanted. <laughs> Mail to the chief. I get it, it's a pun on hail. 
Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the Mansion Lab facility due to the actions of the Renegade operative, Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects on our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. Vickers. Because it's Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, I don't remember what Burton's first name is, Rebecca Chambers, and is it Leon Vickers? I don't know. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would be appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their, their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin Oh boy, another one to Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. I have de- I'm guessing it's the same guy. I have deposited the amount of US dollars, one ten thousand dollars, <laughs> to the account for your services this term as per our, our agreement. The development of the G-Virus schedule to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Oh boy. So what is this anyway? Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project, continue to monitor, monitor their activities, and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin. Underground in the mansion or underground in the police department? We have a problem. I received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknum unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons, detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary, and contact me immediately through ADET. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella, William Birkin. So, hmm, suspicious where are you people. Going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. Hey. John, spelt with a G, me, maybe. We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? But yes, Ada, maybe you're a suspicious person that we should be looking out for. Maybe Claire's a suspicious person we should be looking out for. Maybe, maybe... Leon's a suspicious person we should be looking out for. I don't know. <laughs> Could be anybody. Could be none of them. I, I honestly don't know. Now again, not gonna deal with those dogs if I don't have to. Let's try not to. Let's just go back. Go by. I mean, there's only there's only the plant right there. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Whew. All right. And spiders. Got to get past those spiders. This is gonna be the fun one. Ha! 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 Oh! Ho, ho, and you thought you could get me, you silly arachnid, with your eight legs and your being huge and. Probably able to kill me in one hit. Ha! <laughs> oh. Uh. Alright, so we should have all the plugs, I think. So let's see if we can get this thing working. What the heck are you? Well, a new enemy, obviously, but... What kind of enemy? What the heck? It's like halfway between a zombie and a dinosaur. Oh my god! It's like halfway between an alien and a zombie and a dinosaur. Oh, jeez! No! Chris, get those things off of you! Uh. 
Okay, we gotta use this. I wasn't expecting those things to, like, I don't know, actually jump on me. Maybe I was. Come on, get off. This thing's gonna kill us if it gets to us. Oh, come on, come on, come on, get, get off. Not sure how to get, like, actually hurt them. Oh, it's fully loaded. Come on, get off. Is it dead? No, it's not. It's killing me. <laughs> Wasn't sure. Oh boy. Well. I should have saved. Again, I'm still in that uh, Resident Evil mindset because I'm not expecting that these that'll just keep getting these uh tape, these these uh these uh tapes for the typewriter, which is dumb because I've actually done some research and apparently the American release of Resident Evil One was changed to make it harder. That the reason it has so few uh save spots is actually because they took out half of them. Which is, well, kind of cool, but also kind of ridiculous. Oh, I would have had to pick up the plugs anyway. Alright, well, I'll meet you guys in like five minutes. Because, I mean, it's not like I have a lot to do. I don't have to fight anything, I don't think. I just gotta go up, put in the gear, watch a couple cutscenes. Probably should save. You know, screw, screw the... Screw the odds that I'll probably need those ink ribbons. <laughs> what do I care? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually I care quite a bit because I don't want to have any of those half hour segments in Resident Evil 1 where it's like, I I'm got so many things done that I can't save because I don't have an ink ribbon. Ah, oh, well, screw the odds. I'll meet you guys in, like, five minutes. Well, for you, it'll be, like, two seconds. Get away! <laughs> it's a party favor! Of death! I see you! <laughs> I spy with my little eye. Something dead. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! You gotta give him props for... Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? You gotta give him props for not being able to animate actual math, mouth movements or such like that, but um, being able to imply them just with uh, body movement. Oh wait, equip the shotgun. There we go. Alright, we're back, prepared, We've got a shotgun ready and waiting for this guy. Let's go. We have to wait through that cutscene again, though, don't we? Ugh. I'm assuming once he gets to you and hits you, you're pretty much dead. Because, I mean, that makes sense. So... Which, but that means I don't have time to really focus on the little guys. Nope. Get off, get off, get off, get off! Wait, no, not pause. Inventory. Damn it. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I am, like, I, I don't...
Let's load load game. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm not ending the un ending the episode until we take care of this guy, cause uh, I don't feel like that's right to leave it on such a cliffhanger. I mean, I know I've left it on cliffhangers worse than that before, but once we've already seen the guy, it's won't bother. <laughs> All right, let's get, you know what, screw getting that stuff. Because if we're gonna die, we're gonna die. There's no point in getting it yet. All right, let's, we got the pistol out. Let's take out those small guys first, how about? If we can, even. Huh. I didn't even think about that, like whether we can actually hit them or not. Maybe we can't. Come on, I know what you're about to do. You're gonna turn into a giant dinosaur zombie beast thing that looks like something from Magic the Gathering or something like that. And you're gonna spit out your little your little face hunters. And then I'm gonna die. Cause I'm not really sure how to fight you except just stand there and shoot at you. Okay, get off, get off. Can I not get them off? Get off, get off. No, that's... Okay, I thought I was dead again, again for a second. How did that only put me up to caution? Unless I was already like halfway down. Get off! Jeez, I can't catch a break from these guys. I'm just going to try running out because I don't know what else to do right now. Look at me, I'm just... Ugh! This is infuriating. Get out the shot here again. I, I don't... Ugh! No, that guy's on me! Get him off, Chris! Or Leon, whatever your name is. I don't care what your... There we go, got one of them. But now he's gonna freaking kill me. Can I run by? No, because I'm dead. <sighs> so hard to see them. <laughs> one more time, then I'm ending it. If I don't beat him this time, I'm just gonna... Throw my control. No, I'm not. I'm not that frustrated yet. All right, turn. Shoot them. Actually, you know what? Use, use those. You might as well, because you're probably gonna die. Don't tell me that's it. Don't tell me that's it. Reload. Nope, he regenerates. Great. Oh man, that's- I love regeneration. Shoot the eye, shoot the eye. Oh, he's dead! Oh, he's dead! He's dead! He's dead! He's dead! Oh, come on, get off of me! The music stopped. That's that means he's dead, right? Get off! Get off! Is he? Did I get that? Yeah, I did. Okay, it's green. And that thing's dead, right? Oh! The f okay, no, come on! Get off, you sons of bitches! It's 
That's right, dissolve. Because I'm not leaving this room until every last one of you freaking parasites is dead, gone, and... Ugh. No, come on, he's looking at it. Can I do something with it? No, I can't. Okay, Chris, Leon, Ada Wong, Claire Redfield, Jill Valentine, Barry Burton, Rebecca... I don't remember what her last name is. Chambers, Albert, Wesker, whatever your name is. Get those freaking plugs and put them in. so much ammo on that guy. That was ridiculous. I'm gonna see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2, but not before I put these plugs in that goddamn door. Because... Goddamn. Okay, fix it, fix it, fix it. King plug insertion, rook plug insertion, bishop and knight. That's nice, put them in. There, it's unlocked. Go through. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2. And I'm sorry about that. But I was getting kind of annoyed. Take it easy. <laughs>